It was only in 1996, just 24 years ago, that the last residential school in Canada shut its doors. Indigenous children were taken from their families and forced to forget their language and culture. Shirlene Bomberry was 10 years old when she was taken from her home on Six Nations with her siblings and sent to Mohawk Institute Residential School in Brantford. The first time ever, ever I was hit the first time. The year was 1966. Bomberry was getting ready for bed at school when a teacher asked the girls in the dorm to raise their hands if they had had a bad day. Bomberry raised her hand and was taken to the bathroom with the other girls who admitted to having a tough day too. We had to put our hands out like this, put our hands out like this and then she just put that ruler up and down and up and down. I was sad. I was never had a I never had bad behavior. I was sad inside. About 150,000 Indigenous children endured residential school in Canada. It's estimated that about 6,000 died. Today, school children and adults alike wore orange. The idea came from a story. In 1973, six-year-old Phyllis Webstad from BC was sent to residential school feeling excited and hopeful. Her grandmother had used the little money they had to buy the girl an orange shirt for her first day. But when Phyllis arrived, she was stripped of her shirt. So that orange shirt became a symbol um, of, of everything else that was taken away from her. Her name, her language, her culture, her protection to her community and her family. Despite the heartbreaking stories, Carly Gallant Jenkins from Brantford's Woodland Cultural Center says Orange Shirt Day is about resilience. Bomberry says it took her years, but she is learning to heal from the trauma she endured. I had to take off this coat of shame and guilt and start and start dealing with me, my trauma inside. Bomberry says the hurt is intergenerational. She felt it from her mother and grandmother growing up, and now her children and grandchildren know the pain too. Kelly Vitello, CHCH News.